<laughs> and hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge. I'm Ryan. We were we were <laughs> feeling ourselves. Yeah. We're like feeling uh, this guy. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, like that's a, what I'm talking like about. Like some vanilla ice cream. Oh. No, no. no he, you're you're far more colorful <laughs> than that. Yeah, buddy. Yay. Yeah, buddy. Um, okay, so we read some things. Yes. We got one that's the same mm -hmm. on the on the rack here, yep. and then we just go all over the place yeah. after that. But we do share an honorable mention. We do share an honorable mention. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on that because we really didn't talk about yeah, this. So like, this is this is yeah. raw. This is flat out like brand new feelings. Yeah. So I don't even know how you feel yeah. about this. Um, do you want to start off? You pick one that uh, you yeah. went for. I will. Okay. What do you got? What do you okay. got? Weapon X. Okay. Uh, Greg Pak's doing the writing. Yes. Uh, Greg Land's doing the art. Okay. Visually stunning, right? And I, I went into it with this full expectation that's in my mind right? that it's going to be like Stab Force Five or whatever. <laughs> so it's just everybody in the Marvel universe. Ah, <laughs> let's kill, yeah. right? Kind of is a little bit. I mean, that, okay, that's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's it's the, the yeah, yeah. Uh, but it, it was fun. It was it was fast paced. Nice. Um, yeah. I mean, whenever whenever you have Wolverine and Sabretooth interacting, that's got to be good. It, yeah, yeah. It was very cool. And it's Old Man Logan, Wolverine, yeah, and Sabretooth, yeah. Mm. So there, I mean, there's other complications in how they how they react to right. each other. So yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty, uh, pretty nifty. I I enjoyed quite I a bit. I like, I like. I jumped on with Old Man Logan number twenty one. Yeah, I was curious about um, that. past lives. So it looks like what this arc is setting up to do is to kind of walk us through uh, some of the moments in Logan's history. Okay. Yeah, um, and it's Old Man Logan being transported consciously uh, as a setup of Asmodeus from a uh, last issue. So um, this one was interesting. Like, honestly, like the storytelling aspects are, are cool, but there were like a couple of plot things that I was like, wait, that's that's not right, is it? So I'm going to have to take the Twitter after, you know, this has some time to breathe so we're not spoiling it. Yeah, no spoilers. You know, if you want to get a spoiler review, you got to check out our Patreon. Mm. It's pretty decent. Yes. But... It was it was it was fun. Like I enjoyed it. You know, it was classic Wolverine stuff. So to kind of you know get this walk back through things, um, it's kind of cool to see if there is going to be any sort of difference from how Old Man Logan version recognizes yeah. it, and if this is truly a different time period. So yeah, I, I see some cool stuff. Yeah, you know, on the horizon. So, it, yes. so it, what, what we're saying is, mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. we take a character like Wolverine, right, and we put him in different situations where it isn't just who can stab who first. Right. You can create a very cool and compelling story. Many cool and compelling stories. Huh. Yeah. Write, write that in, down. I'm writing that send, that down. send that over. Cool. Hashtag Marvel. Shticked. Because <laughs> they need to know. They need to know. All right, so what else did you do? What else did you do that was... Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a pure Ryan book. There is no, <laughs> there's no other way to describe it. I am one of the one people here at the shop that will read it. <laughs> one of the one. But all right, so Action Lab, they've got this book called America Karate. This is issue two. The character needs to sound like Patrick Warburton in your head mm. when you're reading his dialogue. Mm. It's like the best Chuck Norris, Rambo, Steven Seagal. I, I don't even it, like. I remember when you read the first one, and I know you've you've somewhat yeah. been eagerly awaiting issue two. Yes. Yeah. Has it lived up to the hype, sir? Yes. Uh, you see, people get their, their legs and arms karate chopped off. <laughs> um, there is a, a love scene. Uh, there's a direct reference to the beginning of Commando. Oh. It, yeah. It's, All right. It's violent. I'm it's, sorry. You said karate chopped limbs. Yes. Love scene and Commando. Yeah. Yeah. Say no more. And there's a guy who talks about part of his body bleeding twice. Yeah, I mean, it's so it's so. This is obviously an all ages title <laughs> yeah, that yeah. you should share with. <laughs> Put this in the Easter basket because yeah, <laughs> no, no seats don't do that. Nothing don't do says that. Easter like America <laughs> too. <laughs> Actually, I feel like that's a movie title. America too, the Easter Bunny, <laughs> <laughs> cracking eggs. Yeah, <laughs> some rabbit getting punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an America Karate three. That's yeah. what that is. Um, oh wow, that's kind of that's yeah. over the top good. Yeah, over the top yeah. good. Does it have like a cartoony style? A I mean, like bit. what is it? Yeah, like it, the, the way everything looks, it's very like American Dad sort of. Okay, okay, so, yeah. okay. They they know they know what they're doing. I mean, okay. So how long till we see this appear on uh, Adult Swim? <sighs> like, I need to know, dude. Seriously, like hashtag make that happen. In Please. Between, in between Rick and Morty season three and four. There you go, American Karate. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Get to the karate chop. <laughs> 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 
Oh, that was good. Yeah. Oh, tell me that's not in there that you that just is, made that I up. I just made that up. Yes. I work with the best. I work with the best people. I understand. Um, I don't even want to talk about anything else after that. Like, that's amazing. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing ah, about it. Where do we go? Right. Uh, I guess Supergirl is where we'll go with that yeah. one. Um, okay, so no, actually, Supergirl was really, really good. It's really good. Um, what I like about it is that it's establishing Supergirl in um, relation to Superman and the whole yeah. Reborn storyline. But she's still an active focus of this issue, which is great. Um, you see how the changes that are, are reflected in that. And hopefully you've been reading the Reborn series yeah. because it's actually really good. Yeah. Um, you see how it's supposed to kind of set things up for future issues within the Supergirl universe as okay. well. Because um, I think, like, through you know, some of the previews, we know, like, there is a, a big bad Kryptonian that's showing up. Yeah. I don't want to say who it is, but oh my Zod, I think we all kind of know. Yeah. Um, up your orders. Right. Like, do it now. Um, but I see, like, this is kind of building all of these parts and pieces. And to have Supergirl, you know, like, directly in reference yeah. to it yeah. works. Um, there is a person that makes an appearance in this really? that, for whatever reason, got me so excited because we've seen, we've seen the pairings in other super titles, yeah. but we hadn't seen it in this yet. And this is long overdue, a welcome you know, addition to the whole puzzle. And I think if you're, if you're a fan of what's been happening in other super titles, you'll love this. So Fair there you go. How's that for a hint? <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. Patreon only. Sorry. Can't do it. Um, Immortal Brothers. It was amazing. That was so it good. Was, it was so good. I didn't know what to expect. I mean, yeah. I was just like, you know, we're trying to trying to expand yeah. our, our presence with the yeah. Valiant Universe, understand yeah. them a little better. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, when you when you make reason. references to Princess Bride. Yeah. I'm there. Yeah, I mean, there's so many levels to us. I yes. Think, like, Van Lente, like, took us to, like, there's this story where it's Archer and Faith, mm -hmm. and they're, you know, she's sick, and he's reading to her, so it's mm -hmm. very, uh, very oh, what was that thing with, with uh, Never Ending, not Never Ending. No, no Princess, Princess Bride. Bride. Yeah, yeah, Princess Bride, yeah. So, you got that. Right. And then, you've got this wonderful take on Arthurian yes. legend. Yes, and talk about a take, though. Yeah. Like, that ending totally got me. Yeah. I was like, Wait, what? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Like, and I think that's one of the things that is really cool about where I think they're going with this. Because, mm -hmm. like, my biggest concern with the Valiant Universe was that it was so insular. Yeah. But this way, they're they're still tied together, but they're reaching out to other, yeah. you know, legendary platforms and stuff like that. So it's like, oh, if you have an interest in this, here's an intro yeah. to the to the brand. So I think that's kind of brilliant. Yeah. The book looks great too. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks yeah. good. The art, the, the humor. I mean, some of the, like the things oh. that are said and done are just uh, just amazing. Absolutely and, hilarious. And it, Absolutely hilarious. It's another moment where you don't really need to know right. the backstories of these characters. Right. They just present as is, and it, it's it works out very very like like the best kind of D and D adventure. Yes, yes, yes. And I think honestly, if you are familiar with it, it's even better. Yeah. Like that just makes it like over the top. Like yeah. yes. Is that, is that your pick for Book of the Week? It's up there for it, yeah. I know, right? Like, like It's not what I would have expected to be my pick. I understand. Because it was, but, I mean, it's, it's kind of a newbie. Yeah. So you didn't know what to expect, but yeah. it was solid. Yeah, a one shot taking place in medieval England. <laughs> like, I'll read it. But not all at the same yeah. time? And, yes. Yeah. All I want to say is, like, not to be too spoiler, but I need a magic wand like they had a magic wand. Yes. <laughs> and now it's time for... Honorable mentions. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable mentions wise, we've got X Men Blue. Yes. We both tackled that one. And then what else did you do? This is another Ryan book. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I said like it's a bad thing. We like your yeah, your choices. I, I hope. Come I on. Hope. Here we go. So Dynamite. Yes. They've got their own version mm -hmm. of Z Nation, okay. which is a zombie apocalyptic type television series okay. um, that they've got going. But it's not not like a Walking Dead where it's very grim and, and it's like a social commentary. Right. There's comedy going on. Like oh. it's actually just a, like a comedy that's set in zombie apocalypse it, yeah. time. Yeah. And I, All right, I, I can I, get with that. Yeah. So I enjoyed the TV right. series. I'm like, okay, what's this going to bring me? They don't try to like directly I don't know, function like the television series. Okay. So it's not, not a straight up comedy. Right. But it's also not super dark. Okay. And oddly enough. Truly its own thing. Yeah. It right. really is. And Van Lente also What? Wrote this. Yeah, I didn't Dude like, was busy. Yeah. So going into this, I didn't even realize it until I was like writing my notes up. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, it's just really fun. Um, it's it's not horror. It's it's I, I don't know, it's like a little bit of, there's enough humor. Okay. But it's more action adventure. That's so, so yeah, it's I very with that. And it's an issue one too, right? Yeah, issue one. Jump on point, can't go wrong, can't go wrong. 
Um, I took on Rebirth uh, Action Comics number 977, yeah. featuring the illustrious return of Ian Churchill. Oh, nice. What, what? If you are a fan of comics from the late 90s, yeah. you know that name. Yeah. You know if the you name. Don't, Super detail. Google. Right. Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, like I would have expected this kind of story to be an annual, because mm -hmm. it kind of... Like, it's rooted in, in the way things are right now, but it really okay. is kind of like a backtrack of Superman's history and a very um, familiar story. All right. You know, um, not, not bad. I mean, this is all about, like, you know, Superman trying to figure out what has happened in the grand scheme of, you know, purse reborn stuff. Yeah. Like, he knows that there's something else that's going on. He's trying to figure it out. Yeah. And this is kind of building that, that, that bridge to it. But it's really kind of like a, a, a historical reference point. Like I said, like a classic yeah. annual that was like, hey, remember, this is what this was like from you know this perspective, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Um, but it's really pretty. Oh, so pretty. Um, Dan Jurgens does, I mean, he knows Superman. Like, that's not, yeah, that's, it's not a question. It's not a question. So definitely one um, that, in terms of story, doesn't necessarily move a lot of things forward. This is definitely just like a building blocks issue, yeah. which isn't bad. Not bad at all. So... All right, dude. X-Men Blue. <clears throat> right here. Um, Colin Bunn. Yeah. Um, Molina on the artwork. In the aftermath of the hubbub about X-Men Gold, this was a must-read. Like, yeah. You yeah kinda, was, there's no question. Yeah. I almost feel bad because I feel like I looked at everything like, what does that mean? Like, is yeah. this a symbol of something? Yeah. Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> Cyclops is what I <laughs> Good job. Good Yay, job. I'm on fire today. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Great success. Um, overall, I don't know how I feel about the series. I'm torn on it. Yeah. Because it was it was very fun. Right? It, the action was, was paced right. very, very well. There was a, a character that I did not expect to see when I turned the page. Fair game. Um, it, it had kind of like a, like a I don't know, not a, I don't know if classic is right, right vibe, but like the television series, the animated one. Oh, like yeah, I can that, see that. that yeah, yeah. But at the same time... I don't know. I, it, 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 I, f I was left wanting. I, I can understand that because I, I honestly don't feel like I know these guys. Yeah. And that, that sounds weird to have the original X Men class being the root of the team, and you're like, I don't really know them. Yeah. Um, we've known them for like seventy years. <laughs> yeah. But still, like, eh, something a little off here. Yeah. Because I keep expecting Cyclops to react in, in a, a different way. Right. Because he's he's not Cyclops. Yeah. And. I mean, that's, that's cool. There's a lot of interesting new things. I will admit, um, try not to spoil too hard, Beast has a very interesting addition yes. to himself, yeah. and I am very excited about that. Yeah. I think that is like one of the coolest things possible about this entire yeah. book. Um, but yeah, it, it's, kind of, it's kind of different. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out like, what exactly sparked the team color designation separation. Yeah. What did that? Yeah. Is that, is that from IVX? Is that... I don't think so. Okay. Like, that mean, I, I, I read Ivy. I know you did. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to keep bringing it up because you suffered that. I, I ate enough paint chips to forget it. It's okay. It's, You'll never forget so yeah. long as I'm alive. <laughs> Fair. Um, but no, I mean, overall, like, gorgeous looking book. Yeah. Very well done. Um, there is that stint in the back. It yeah. seems like a secondary story. Yeah. That features a person doing things that I wasn't familiar that they could do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you, you asked me, and I was yeah. like, I don't know. Why do you? Oh, yeah. So that could be kind of interesting. Because I'm right. wondering, wondering a couple things coming out. Right. Like, what's what's going to happen? I I can speculate, and maybe. Oh, we should save that for the Patreon. I have a theory. I have a theory. Ha <laughs> ha! Eureka. Um, so we will talk about that on Patreon. Yay. On who I think that is. Yes. 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 <laughs> Great success. Mm, so good. So good. You guys got anything coming up? We're moving. I mean that's kind of big, like. Yeah. Yeah. After twenty four years. Yeah. Which, which is weird for me to say because I'm forty one, so like half of my over half my life was in here. We're uh, we're moving from our our location on Morse Road right. to uh, in a larger location, yes. like seven thousand square feet, as opposed to our thirty two hundred. Um, so we're actually going to be able Expand. to do a lot. Yeah. It's kind of a bittersweet thing, right? Like I mean, Very. so many memories here. You yeah. know, remember that time we did that thing over there? Mm -hmm. Right? It's still stained. It's st it smells weird, too. <laughs> like, I've never understood the smell. Um, but to, to move to this new location yeah. is an opportunity to create you know, new memories, new fans, yeah. and do some really cool stuff. So 
I totally, yeah, yeah. yeah I weird. get that. I get that. And, guys, while we're still here at 1249 Morse Road, um, if you get a chance on Friday, come in and say what's up to Eric because it's his birthday. Yep. I probably wasn't supposed to say that on the air, but I did because I can because I'm a grown man and can't nobody stop me from all the way over there. <laughs> Staring at you. <laughs> he, he is. He is. I'm just gonna not make eye contact till the camera stops. Hey, did you like this episode? You should get this every week. You know you can do that very, very easily. All you gotta do is subscribe. That's it. Hit the subscribe button, push the bell, and they'll notify you. They'll tell you. It's like chauffeured awesome. Mm -hmm. You like that, right? Yeah. We're awesome and we can be a part of your life far more easily by just doing that. Wow, that sounds so romantic. Yeah, I watched The Notebook. Yeah. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs>